I was asleep one night, woke up two o'clock in the morning, sat bolt upright in bed, and I thought, we've got to buy a second hand boat. Everyone went, and how are we going to do that? I went, I'm going to remortgage my house and borrow the money and get the boat. And then I said, if we had to do a refit, we'll remortgage the boat to pay for the refit. She put everything on the line, didn't she? You know, she put her home on the line. She risked everything, really, for, for it to happen. Maiden is a wonderful documentary that's a lot of fun to talk about and even more fun to watch. It's a story that begins in 1988, when a woman named Tracy Edwards decides to put together the first all-woman crew to participate in the Whitbread Round the World race, an astonishingly grueling yachting race that goes over 32,000 miles last nine months. It's really an enormous endurance test. This is a film that succeeds because it reminds you of two films that were hugely successful. It's got the athleticism of Free Solo, which won the Oscar last year, because the amount of hard work and physical labor these women have to put in to be four hours on, four hours off for all those weeks, it's really astonishing. But also this film reminded me of RBG, the Ruth Bader Ginsburg documentary, because it's a very human story. It's a transcendent story. It's a story that kind of rises above any category you might want to put it in. It's a great human story. You just feel good about being alive after you see this film. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan. One mistake could mean disaster.